I am going to show you how to tame a fjord hog in ways that are a lot more effective and also pain free. There are three main issues when it comes to taming fjord hogs. The first issue is finding the correct food to get the best effectiveness. The next issue is dealing with all of the other fjord hogs that are trying to eat your tame's food. And the third issue is managing some of the misinformation out there on what you can use to tame it with. To tame a fjord hog, you need to feed it the bodies of dead creatures. The bodies need to be creatures that you've either killed by your own hand. If you're using a team to kill creatures, you actually need to make sure that you're unmounted before the field hog eats the dead body. Originally, it was thought that creatures with the highest drag weight or larger creatures would give the best effectiveness when taming a field hog. But this hasn't found to be true. Size doesn't always matter. There was a time where you could use a rock elemental and insta tame one, but that's now been patched. It is now known that the Ovis is the best creature in which to tame the Fjordhawk with, and the runner-up is the Fiomia. Ovis are found in the mountainous regions of the main map, however the easiest place to find them is actually in the very cold region, Jotunheim. Make sure you bring gear to survive the cold and new veggie cakes, and you can tame up lots of high-level Ovis in this area. The higher level the Ovis, the higher the health, and the longer it will take for the Fjordhawk to eat. Because an Ovis with higher health is going to give you more effectiveness, there's a few tips that you can do to make sure that your Ovis has high health. The first one is to cryo the Ovis for a number of days and nobody likes to wait, but this will give you lots of levels of experience to put into the Ovis. Make sure you put all of the levels into health and then you can heal it up with a snow owl or with berries over time. The best option, which also takes unfortunately a little bit longer in time, is to breed your Ovis and then use imprinted Ovis which have a health bonus. Again, place these Ovis into a cryopod, leave them for a few days and add the experience into the health stat. There are three main locations where you can find field hawks. In Vanilan near the Gold Mountain, to the northwest of the main map near the Snainheimer Mountains, and on Vardiland near the Emerald Trench. For exact spawn coordinates, check the description of this video. Once you have found a field hawk you're interested in taming, the next step is to isolate it and separate it from the other field hawks in the area and I've got a really easy trick to do this. The first thing you will need is a net gun and I recommend bringing quite a few spare nets. The reason for this is field hawks take a protection hit. So I am trying to tame this brown level 140. I hit it once and it does zero damage. It's taking a protection hit and the net doesn't work. Keep focus on the one you want to hit which is this brown level 140 for me. I hit it with a second net and it drops down to the ground. While it's netted, what you can do is to place a simple wooden cage over the fjord hawk and just wait for the net cooldown now. Then double check to make sure that the fjord hawk is stuck in the cage. At this point, it is very important that you do not leave render. If you leave render, the fjord hawk will despawn out of the cage. Now what I'd like to do now is to try and get rid of the other field hogs in the area. I only have one here, but sometimes you can have five or six other field hogs that are going to try and take the food that you want to give your field hog. You can shoot them with a shotgun, they'll take a protection hit and then they'll take damage. They may try and flee, but keep an eye out because they often come back. This one is coming back now, so we reload the shotgun and kill the field hawk. Kill all of the field hawks in the area and harvest their bodies. Because the one you want to tame is in a cage, it can't do that and start taming itself. I also use this time to check for other predators that might try and eat the sheep that you're going to give your field hawk. Things like raptors which have the potential to ruin your tame. If you're playing on an official server or a server where there is no clipping enabled, you may struggle to get the cage over the field hog if you net it. You can still get it in the cage. What you need to do is stand behind the cage or have a team stand behind the cage and it will come over curiously and you can just shut the door and lock it that way. It's a little bit more finicky but you can still get the field hog in a cage. And as you can see here I'm dragging the sheep over to the field hog in the cage and it's able to harvest the body through the cage. If you're not able to put a cage down at all because of pillar spam or building in the area, you're forced to do it a lot more of a tricky way, which is to net the fjord hawk you want to tame and kill all the other fjord hawks in the area. I recommend doing this with a creature like a wyvern. You can easily burn them and harvest their bodies before the net gun cooldown timer is up. The next thing you want to do is throw out your cryo sheep. You may have to wait between your cryo cooldown timers to do this. Then you need to slaughter your sheep. In order to be able to slaughter your sheep, you need to be standing next to it and either holding a sword or a pickaxe. 
you can slaughter the sheep and drag its body over to the cage with a fjordhawk in it. I've had them be able to eat from the cage, but here it's not looking like it's working and I think that's because the cage is on a funny angle. So you can open the cage and present the sheep to the fjordhawk or drop it and this will start the taming. Turn on your taming tracker and if you have it, I highly recommend using the Sanguine Elixir. This gives a 30% bonus to taming. Of course, you need to have a tamed Desmodus. Not all players have this, but if you have it, I highly recommend using it. So now I've had one sheep and we're at 57.4% tamed. You can see that we have lost a little bit of taming effectiveness. That's because I'm using a one times rate for this, which is official rates. If you are playing official, I highly recommend doing this on an Evo event weekend. Then slaughter your next sheep and drag it over. Again, we're opening the cage and letting it get to the sheep's body. And you can see our progress bar is going up in the team. It is very hard to get 100% effectiveness with one times rates. I have read that apparently you need to have a sheep with 7,000 health, which would be quite a breeding program in order to get a sheep that's that high level. The Fjordhawk's now out of the cage, but there are no threats in the area, so we're going to slaughter our final sheep and then let the Fjordhawk eat. And yay, it's tamed! As I've said, we're using one times rates. This needed three high level sheep from us as well as Sanguine Elixir. If you don't have the Elixir, I highly suggest bringing some backup sheep. If you're playing with higher rates, you may not need as many sheep. I really hope you found these tips for taming a Fjordhawk helpful. If I missed anything or you have a great tip, please feel free to share a comment below. It would be much appreciated. If you found this video helpful, I also have an easy tame guide for the Desmodus and other creatures in Ark. If you want more helpful guides, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you found this video helpful, please throw a like. It would be greatly appreciated.